Hey guys, what's going on? JK and welcome to another episode of Bashetix Boys, the original OG Bashetix Boys, because we have an imposter. Bashetix Left Kidney 2.0 has stolen the series. He uploaded his first video 23 minutes ago. I uploaded mine a week ago. This man with 5,000 followers is going to overshadow our RTG if we let this happen. I am the original. I refuse to leave my ground. We are the originals, but we are literally on six o'clock, boys. So you know what that means. We've got content. Come on. Oh, and I am very excited because we've got some packs to open today, boys. Oh, let's see what we get. We're also going to check out evolutions today because I reckon we'll have some. So let's go into the live section. Uh, we have Rotor Knockouts, Giovanni Arena. Okay. So you've got to assist five goals with three balls. Score 10. Score at least two goals per match. Uh, win 10 with three Bundesliga players. Yeah, not too difficult for this Rainer. Now let's take a look. Four star, two star is very mid. His dribbling's actually good though, to be fair this year. They've, they've made that better. Pace is good. Shooting's good. Physicals are good. Passing is good. Lovely. We don't mind that. Uh, any decent play styles? No pluses, but it is what it is. But <coughs> apologies, could be a good card. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else. So we're going to move into the new objectives. The weekly objectives should be back out. Yeah, the weekly objectives are back out. So we've got weekly objectives again, which means I should be able to get to level 15 very soon. We're going to check if there's new milestones. Doesn't look to be. I'm going to check if there's no one. There's not going to be any foundation. So let's go straight into the SBC section, ladies and gents. So, SBCs, open squad building challenges. Let's have a look. We have got Bruno Aguimarães. Oh dear. Now this could be an interesting card because if Newcastle go through, and it is a difficult group, so you never know. But if Newcastle go through, this could be a very good card. So let's take a quick little look at it. We have got three star, three star, high, high, six foot. Decent dribbling, good defending, good physicals, like good dribbling, good passing, decent shooting, pace is alright. Any play style pluses? No. Uh, how much is he going to cost? Don't touch this card. Do not touch this card. That's way too expensive. You could, I mean, that's way too expensive. I personally. So, yeah, let's just go straight to the packs. I mean, uh, we're waiting. Around. Evolutions. The game has come out for the masses. There could be evolutions out today. <coughs> there isn't. Okay. Great. That's fantastic. So no evolutions today either, which is unfortunate. But let's get into the content you've all been waiting to see. We're two minutes forty seconds in. Let's just get straight into some packs, boys. We've got Rivals Rewards, Marquee Matchups, and a 100k pack. We get Adam Haku, whatever his bitch name. The guy that you packed a million times from the 85 by 10s last FIFA. Here he is. And what else are we going to get? Nothing interesting. We've got the Leicester kit. Shout out, George. There you go, George. There's your shout out, pal. You're getting in there, son. Uh, we need to wait for later to open that. We need to wait for later to open that. We're going to open the Mixed Players pack next. Are we going to get anything interesting? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Liver stories, liver stories, liver stories. Don't get excited. Not an inform. Not an inform. Relax. Uh, anything interesting, tradable we can sell? I'm not sure. I'll have a look later. Uh, but I, I, I really, I sincerely doubt it. <coughs> wow, I just can't stop coughing. Wow. Okay, let's uh, open up the Prime Mix Players Pack. Not sure what packs were the best from this, but oh well. Italian. Right mid, Parati. It's going to be Zaniolo. Not too shabby. We don't mind that. I am zooming through this quite quickly because this is going to be like a whole video, by the way. Oh, we get Fahi from Liverpool. She worth it. No, she's not worth it. Of course she isn't. Um, anything interesting? Not really. So we'll just move on. Oh, we get Becho. Get in the chance of this Becho. And uh, into the next pack we go. We're going to open up the small mixed players pack. Small prime mixed players pack. What are we going to get? We're going to get a Albanian left back. That is Morosic from Lazio or Latium. I'm just going to get a Vima. A couple of little cards. Nothing too special. Eredivisie Silvers might be expensive, actually. So we might need to check that out because there was an Eredivisie Silver there. Then we get some mixed rare booster packs. Let's open the rare mixed booster packs. We get an English centre back. Tottenham. It's going to be that, that female, isn't it? That lady. Uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's Bar Trip. Uh, rip. She's a duplicate untradeable, so we have to quick sell her. And we're going to open up our next Gold Remix booster pack. Can we pack one? I'd love to pack one, you know. I wouldn't mind that a bit. Uh, that's a different looking card. 
English goalkeeper. It's nothing interesting. It's a silver. It's a bear big one. I didn't think you could get silvers from these, but apparently you can because we get bronze. What? Ruddy still plays football, by the way. I remember when he used to play for Wolves. What a guy. Uh, now we've got the premium gold players packs. <coughs> Son! Kim Min Jae, though. Oi, I was about to be fuming so I didn't get a Kim Min Son. But Kim Min Jae, that is a pull and a half. Come on. Kim Min Jae for the RTG, boys. Edgar Clare, but we move. Uh, but yeah, Kim Min Jae for the RTG. How much is he still worth? Probably 30k still. 20k on bid. Don't mind that a li even a little bit, boys. That is quality. Come on, Kim Min Jae. We don't mind that. Good pull for the RTG. 20k. Right, nice. Let's see what we get from Premium Gold Players Pack. Okay, cool. I know I got baited with a song, but can I have a song? A Team of the Week song. Uh, that's not going to be anything interesting. That's going to be Kramaric. He's probably a dupe. I don't know if I actually used him at an SBC recently. I, I didn't. So he's gone. You're gone. You're banned. Right, Kramaric is gone. Then we're going to open up our next packet. Don't know why I called it a packet, but we move. We've got a Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. Oh, interesting, boys. Interesting. Let's see what we get from a Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. It's Portuguese centre mid. It's going to be from Galatasaray's B. I actually don't know who that is. I'll get some Fernandez. No, he plays for Besiktas. Oh, my word. It's a gold common. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. That is poor. <coughs> Final Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. And then we're into some decent packs. Spain. Ham. Munayin, I think. I don't know if he's changed position this year. He might have. That might be Munayin. Evolution's Dan Juma, boys. Evolution's Dan Juma. He is the card that you want at Evo. He's worth 5k. But, like, if you Evo him, he's actually good. However, I might still be committing to Darwin Nunes. So, you never know. I might I might just commit to the Darwin Nunes, actually. I don't mind it. I love Nunes. What a player. Right, we're going to open our small prime gold players pack. And then we're going to open our tradable rare Electrum. And then we're going to open our 100k pack to finish. Colombian goalkeeper is going to be David Ospina from Al Nasser. Would have loved a Ronaldo from Al Nasser, but don't really mind it. We'll get rid of them to the transfer list. And then we have our final tradable pack from Marquee Matchups. Rare Electrum. Let's see what we get. We're going to get Italian centre back. I don't think that can be anyone good. It's going to be Bastoni or a Sherby. I'm guessing it'll be a Sherby. Oh, it's Bastoni. Don't mind that. <coughs> Jeez, wow. Uh, anything else worth any money? Not really. How much is Bastoni worth, actually? Not too much, but we'll send him to the chance with us anyway. Sar might be worth a bit of... Uh, he's worth a little bit. And we'll send the rest of the chance with us. Uh, and then to the club. Right, 100k pack, boys. To end off the episode, if we're going to get one of the new cards, it's going to be from this. Show me a special flair, EA. Show me a special flair. Come on. I thought it was hard. I, 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 I had the slimmest bit of hope for Erling Haaland there. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I saw it and I was like, maybe Erling. Double walkout. Double walkout. Double walkout. Please spin. Please do a little spin for me. I want to see this double walk. <laughs> oh, great. Great. Martin Erdegaard is your best pull in a pack. Don't mind that. Oh, dear. Uh, a bit of five-star skills, to be fair. Anything else interesting? Not really so far. Um, Erdegaard, he has the passing plus three pass of the market. To be fair, that's not too bad. Ona Batale, she's just a bit slow, isn't she? A bit, a bit weak as well. McCabe, she's actually all right. Lobotka, Botman, Otamendi, Simon, Sugita, Danilo, Malcolm Kamada. Anything else interesting? No Darwin Nunes, so uh, don't really care. And then Oyazabal, Arnold, and Andre Silva. So, unfortunately, that is all we got. Unfortunately, we couldn't get one of the new cards. But we can take a deeper look into some of them. So, yeah, as you saw on there, we had our marquee matchups rewards. Hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of stream content, by the way. Because I would definitely consider doing some stream content in the future. But I'm just showing you what we submitted. I don't think we submitted anything really good, which is why I've just let the clips roll slowly. This is a 20-minute video, and 10 minutes of it was that live stream bit. But yes, this is the team I'm going to be using for today's video, because today's video is probably titled something like, 
I don't know, I don't want to ruin something for later, but it's probably going to be titled We Tried the New Meta, and then the thumbnail is going to have Hemp, Kelly, and Boniface. Because Hemp and Kelly have the crossing trait, and Boniface is a beast in the air. He is 6'4", 93 jumping, 90 heading accuracy. However, the headers are still very inconsistent for me this year, so maybe I should turn manual headers on, because I think I'd be better at directing the direction of a header than the AI. So we're going to be trying out the 4 2 3 one today in order to fit that meta with him up front, the two women on the wings, and an anti-fatty up front. But Vonifaz gets a chance here and it's saved by Leno, who's very good in real life this season. Kept a few clean sheets, but we whip it in there with Kelly and uh, we get Boniface with massive head on it and we score. But here we come again, anti Fatty out to Kelly, Boniface and Kelly looking for the 1-2. Kelly, we're going to do a little bit of player lock here. The cross doesn't actually go to Boniface, but it comes to Fatty, and we knock it into Boniface, and that is a well-worked goal. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but then this guy just misses a howler from kickoff. And I, we are 2 up at this point, so I can't remember what the other goal we scored was, but it is what it is. Hemp on the ball now. Just does a little bit of agile dribbling. All you need on this game this year, boys, is you can either do the cross meta, or you need a little bit of agile dribbling, because the AI makes really good runs and stuff like that. But also finishing's inconsistent. So if you go to that, you're gonna be good. So I'm not actually showing you the team on purpose. It's just I scored so fast in this game that I'm just showing you it. And I just and I I watched this clip and I was like, yeah, no, this is a good goal. Straight from the off. So it's actually this guy's kickoff. And he goes for a kickoff goal and just gives the ball to me straight away. I'm not even like in my custom tactics yet. We use a little bit of player lock, you know, a little bit of scaring tactic going on here. We're just spamming skill moves because I always spam skill moves at the start of games to like you know scare the opponents. You know how it is. And we slip a ball down the line there to Fatty. We do a little Berber stop cancel. Go to the byline with him. Ball roll. Fake the pass back. Then finally play it and then an extra pass to Fatty from Boniface and we get another goal straight away. And this is a well worked goal. This guy then has the lead, but we make a really good slide tackle there with Grimaldo in order to dispossess him before we get probably a, a guaranteed goal scoring opportunity. Bichettik on the ball now, waiting for the run of Kelly. He finds it. Kelly, she's past her man. Boniface is there for it. We win the header straight at the keeper, but we get the rebound. This is what I mean. I've seen the Pemfez score headers like that, and I don't know whether I've got manual headers on or off, but I want to try the reverse setting if I'm going to do this meta. But we play really good ticky tack of football. Boniface with a great spin for a big lad, and he puts it in the back of the net with his weak foot. Definitely not a freestyle weak foot, by the way. Hem's got the ball on the wing. She comes inside, she plays it into Bichetic, Bichetic into Kelly, Kelly to Boniface, Boniface gets a lovely little 1-2 with the centre-backs, and then Kelly lets it roll, sending the keeper to the floor and tapping it in the empty net. By the way, you might hear me like take pauses at times, that's, that's cough breaks, okay, allow it, I'm still ill. And today we're doing a double upload as well, Um. so yeah. I, I know already what I want the next video to be called, but I'm just going to be a little bit shorter as well. Uh, but yeah, let, let, let's not talk about the next video. Let's talk about this one. So we make a good interception now with Kim Min Jae. Ball in there to Fatty. Lays off to Goretzka. Over to Bichetic. Bichetic just driving forward constantly. We get the ball to Martinelli. He's a bit tired. So we're just going to run to the byline. Cut it back. Tap in for Fatty. Not sure why I wasn't doing this all game. But it is what it is. It's very broken this year. But to be fair, for me defensively, I actually feel like I know how to defend cutbacks quite well from last FIFA. So it's just more of a, you know, not, not more of an adaptation than a learning curve. But yeah, we're able to just walk into this guy's box. He moves his keeper, so then when the keeper moves back, he leaves all of that space at his near post, so we just slap it there with Hemp's freestyle weak foot. And then Bichetic playing a gorgeous pass. It's only just about gets in, and this guy's already done. At this point, Boniface is coming too close. We're going to have to whip it right to the back post to Hemp, and she wins the header and scores. Wow. What a header from Hemp. Hemp giving... Okay, right, we're not going to go that far. But, you know, it's it's very, very successful. And then we come up again this, against this guy, sorry for the lack of English ability, with Boniface and informed Dybala. So I was a little, a little bit intimidated. So let's just get straight into this match. Straight from kickoff again. Boniface on the ball, plays it into Fatty. We're not even in our tactics yet, by the way. As always, Frimpong getting the ball on the right. I don't know why we've done that with Frimpong. I was trying to test if he had four-star skill moves, actually. Uh, Fatty losing the ball instantly. Are we going to concede? No, because I'm able to make a really nice interception with Van Dyke. 
Bouchetic drives forward, plays the ball to Fatty, looking for the 1 2 with Boniface, and we get it. Fatty's on the ball. Is Where's his keeper going? His keeper just decided to go pick some flowers at the corner flag, and he's, he's been caught out of position. Bouchetic winning the ball straight from kickoff, playing it out wide to Kelly, looking for a 1 2 between Bouchetic and Kelly here. We get it. Kelly down the line, lovely cross into the box, and that should be a goal. In real life, that's a goal. The fact that you can miss that on this game is unreal which is another reason why I want to try out the new settings. And then we finally get another cross here with Hemp straight at the keeper again. But we get the ball, we get wiped out with Hemp by this guy already on the yellow, so he gets sent off, and we get a penalty, which Boniface takes. We stick it to the top right, and we score. I think we've got 100% conversion rate on pens this year, so yeah, not too bad. And then we find Hemp down the line again. We're going to look for another cross into the box. We're just going to drag Boniface to the back post, unmarked, too powerful for that header to be kept out. I think we even green timed it. Straight to the keeper. And it goes in. And then we did a messy World Cup Cup Days celebration. And again, we're showing someone's team. Now, it's when you see teams like this with like low chem with really good players. Or you see like low rated but low to chem. You know that it's just like a really good player. But today we actually didn't lose. We had that 5-5 draw. But other than that, we won every game. And moving into the second part of this wall well, into the double upload... That's also going to not have a loss in it. So we've just been very, very... Well, playing very well recently. I feel like I've adapted now to the game. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I like the cross meta. I like the dribbling. And how important it is. I like the fast passing. Like, this FIFA is me. I'm loving this FIFA. And we got the ball with Boniface. Into Fatty. We just spin him. Like, in previous FIFAs, you would never have been able to do that in September. Like, even with, like, footies and Bappe, the game felt happy. Heavy at the end of the game. This year it feels so much different. We get the cross in there but it's deflected and then Fatty just gets a tap in and we get a rage quit. Yeah, talking does make me cough. It's not enjoyable but it is what it is. And we get a rage quit and I think, and I think that's going to be our win to get us to Division 7. Yes it is. We are now Division 7, 4 wins for the week and uh, 5 games played. Let's have a look at the record. So obviously we're just going to ignore mainly the defenders. Um... But obviously we're going to have a look at like Bichetic and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to wait for them. This Van Dyke loan is going to run out soon. But we're going to try fan alternatives. Which I actually do think we have. Kelly, five games, one goal, three assists. Goretzka has got an assist. Bichetic has his three assists. So he's not got up, gone up in anything. Hemp's got two goals, two assists. Fatty stats, we can't really tell. And Boniface has got six goals and four assists in five games. That is a goal two goal, two goal contributions per game which is very 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 good indeed and then we had a couple of players on the bench but none of them we really brought on to be fair so we're not really going to talk about them too much so let's head into some menu content now only a little bit to end the video but first of all we make it to level 15 after playing them games and we get decide to take Wilms from level 15 because next video guys we're going to be trying out a new team so, uh, yeah, that's going to be the uh, the main theme of the next video. And then we're going to have some packs and some pretty decent pulls going at the end of that video. So, uh, enjoy. And then the next video we do after that will probably be, you know, a, a, just a follow-on video from the next one, to be fair. So, you know, these two videos, even though they're a double upload, they're not really connected. But next video and then the one I'm going to do after that will be. So, I'm looking forward to doing that. And, uh, yeah, we've got an 80 plus by 2 to open. And it's going to be a road to the final. It's pink, boys. It's pink Italy. Centre-back It's going to be Benucci, you know. Now, this card is very intriguing. It's very difficult to link. But he's got really good passing and dribbling for a centre-back. He's got really good defending. He's decently rated. He's got all right pace. It'll do. And physicals. So we are going to have to try get him in our team for next video, boys. Because I'm very, very excited to potentially use this card. So, uh, yeah, we then decided to sell off a load of the players that we used. So, yeah, there you go. Pause for the prices there. And that is going to be it for this part of the video. Uh, next video, I mean, it's going to be an absolute cork. I mean, there's a few things we could title next video, to be fair. We could title it the Pat Pools. We could title it the, the brand new evolution we in dive in. Ooh, little spoiler there. Got to keep you hooked. Or the fact that Bichetic cooks next episode. So tune in to see Bichetic cooking as always.